Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings. My name is Sharifah Nur Ayuni binti Warani from UITM Cawangan Sarawak. Today, I present a plan to overcome challenges in nurturing quality education among quantity surveying students. And this will be the outline for my presentation. Education systems should give students with the knowledge, skills, and experiences they need to develop critical consciousness, attain personal fulfillment, promote social justice, and contribute to economic progress. Despite the global emphasis on the sustainable development goals, awareness and understanding among students remain limited, posing significant challenges to achieving sustainable development. Next, problem statements. The first problem statement is lack of interest from the students in pursuing studies. Approximately 300,000 SPM graduates in Malaysia choose not to continue their education due to economic concerns and this lead to decreased interest in higher education. Even though there are still many students who are motivated to pursue the studies, it can be seen on how concerning the trend is and this is something that the Malaysian government and education stakeholders need to address. Secondly, limited access to quality education and digital divide. It is important to note on how technology is playing an increasingly significant role in how education is delivered and managed within these institutions. As technology has improved, the digital divide has become more pronounced, especially among students from rural areas in developing nations, resulting in challenges for higher education institutions. Moving on to the objectives of the study, which are to assess the student's perception on challenges in achieving quality education and to suggest plan to overcome challenges in achieving quality education among quantity surveying students. This study aims to address key challenges faced by QA students in achieving quality education in order to improve engagement, potentially reducing dropout rates. Proposing solutions to ensure equitable access to quality education and digital tools, preparing students for modern workforce demands, and lastly, contributes to the field of quantity surveying by enhancing professional competency and suggesting innovative educational practices. Methodology used is quantitative method, literature reviews from secondary data, and descriptive statistics analysis based on frequency and overall mean. Meanwhile, for the novelty of the study, suggesting innovative educational practices for higher education institutions and propose a curriculum that emphasizes sustainability, ethical practices, and social responsibility in the field of quantity surveying. For the findings, the three main challenges are lack of practical experience and hands-on skills, lack of technology experts in higher education, and financial problems. This is followed by limited facilities, lack of proper counseling and guidance, and digital divide that also act as the main concern from the students. Therefore, these are the plans that can be done which are to include more practical experience in learning experience such as organizing more real project site visits, need more hands-on practice especially on related software such as Revit, AutoCAD, and SketchUp, improve and ensure that the students' facilities are comfortable and up-to-date, to initiate programs especially for students that are IT illiterate, to expand graduate service scheme among students, increase more mentor mentee programs to promote continuous improvement and development, and improve educators' expertise in technology through more software training. As the plan can lead to an interactive learning environment, the benefits are comprehensive skill development, enhanced collaboration and networking, and adaptive learning systems. Meanwhile, for commercialization potentials, it acts as a guidebook to lead the student's journey before entering industry and as an educational content and resources such as video lectures, interactive simulations, and ebooks. To conclude, the three main plans are to improve educators' expertise in technology, need more hands-on practice on related software, and improve on students' facilities. In conclusion, stakeholders within the industry, along with the university alumni, should collaborate closely with academic institutions to emphasize the importance of quality education and address the challenges faced by the students. And with that, I conclude my presentation. That's all from me. Thank you for listening.